Isn't that pretty? A couple Smith & Wesson Model 27 sitting on the table. Drew 357. Today we're going to compare these two guns. Uh, the one on the left here is a 1980 Smith & Wesson 27-2. The one on the right is a Model 327 TRR-8. And the TRR-8 is Top Rail Revolver 8 because this gun is 8 shots. So let's first start with the, the classic. Um, this gun is 6 shots. It's, uh, it's a nickel, a nickel finish, so it looks like a mirror. And this one is the 3T configuration. It's uh, the target hammer, the target trigger, and the target grips. And these, these grips, I might butcher this name, are Goncalo Alves grips, uh, which is like a tiger wood. And so you can see they're just gorgeous, very pretty. I'll just give you a look here so you can see the bottom of them. But this gun's trigger is actually very wide and um, it's just comfortable. It's comfortable to cock also because the hammer is so wide. But let's take a look here at the checkering on the top. Um, on the top of the frame, they continue it down this six inch barrel all the way to this front partridge sight. And you've got adjustable sights on the rear here. And so you can see you've got the, the trademark logo on the side and the, the four lines. Just a beautiful pistol. The Model 27 was first introduced in the 1930s during the Great Depression. And ironically enough, Smith & Wesson released their most expensive revolver during that time, when times were so tough. And this is the, the second edition of that revolver. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the, the other one on the right here, the TRR-8. It's a little bit more modern gun, more tactical looking, if you will. Um, it's also got case hardening on the hammer and on the trigger. It's got a hood tamer style grip. Um, eight shots. You can see, look at that big old cylinder. And this gun's fitted for moon clips. For those of you that might not know, moon clips are these. You just clip the bullets right in there and it's almost like a, a magazine that you can put right in the gun. You can shoot eight rounds, pop this out, and put another one right back in. If you have three of these, that's 24 shots. And so, the other thing that sets this part, this gun apart from others, is it's got a rail on the top. Um, you can see it, it screws on there, these four screws, and you can take it off. And if you do, there are these smaller screws that look just like this, that go in the top. Uh, you can see the iron sights right through the rail, so if you remove your optics there, uh, you can shoot it, you can still shoot the gun with the iron sights. So here's a, a Trigicon R MRO sight. Uh, this works pretty well on this gun. It looks, looks nice. This has a, a quick lever to mount it on there. This is a green dot 3 MOA uh, Trigicon MRO sight. Very, very nice sight. You can put it on a lot of different guns. And then here's a, a light and laser combo, uh, combo made by Tacticon. Let me see here. If you push this, it'll give you the light. You hit it again, it blinks. And then right here, you have the laser. It's a green laser. So this, this fits pretty well. If you put the bottom rail on, which I have sitting right here, that rail will fit down here just like this on the gun. And then you can attach accessories to it. So this is a scandium frame, uh, scandium alloy. If you look scandium up, it's on the periodic table. Uh, it's a little bit on the lighter side. But this, uh, this gun, it manages recoil very well uh, with the 357 loads and 38 special. It, it, I'm not going to say you can hardly tell you're shooting it, but there is not much kick at all. But let me let you see what the trigger pull is like on this. Uh, double action. Very smooth. Single action. It almost feels like you could breathe on the trigger. It breaks. And um, the 27-2, it's, it's similar. Double action trigger. Very, very comfortable. Single action. Very good as well, too. 
So one difference you can see is when this gun, you open up the cylinder, you can see right through there. On the 27-2, it's just one, one side that's kind of open. But just take a quick look at both these guns side by side so you can see them. They both have fluted cylinders. For those of you that might not know, fluted means they have like these cutouts in the cylinders. Some say it might reduce the weight a little bit on the pistol. Let's take a look at the other side of these. Um, this one on the right is a performance center gun. Those of you that might know, the performance center just, they do some things to the revolver. They work the triggers over. They get them really, really smooth. I'd say back in 1980, this 3T configuration was almost like that performance center. So uh, the TR-8's got a, looks like a copper front sight on there. Adjustable, adjustable sight on the back. So yeah, I could sit here, I could talk all day about these revolvers, but I'm, I'm not going to bore you with that. We're going to get out soon and what we're going to do is shoot these revolvers and see how they do on some steel targets. So anyhow, Drew 357, I hope you enjoyed looking at both of these. If, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel, and also please leave some comments. I've really enjoyed reading your comments and I've actually been learning some things from you guys. So thanks so much, Drew 357, checking out.